Eric Mwadi with Mwadi.com. Let's take a look at Ethereum's chart. Now we can see that over the last couple of days, since this period here, let's call that at the price of about the higher 500s, let's call it about 600 or so. The stock's been pretty much trapped in this lower zone. Now to understand this, first and foremost, let me show you that we know that 69.1 has an opposite value now we're talking about the rsi the opposite value of 69.1 is 30.9 so you can see what happened here is we moved below 30.9 and since then the stock has been struggling or the eat no, or the cryptocurrency has been struggling since then now to understand this let me show you a good example here on this ethereum daily chart now you can see here we go above 69.1 and eventually we do drop back below 69.1 here but you'll notice we enter here above 69.1 and then by the time we drop back below the same value we are trading at higher prices so here right so that's a higher price same thing take a look at the next time we move above 69.1 here you can see that the price level at that particular point was here and then at some point we drop back below 69.1 which is this period and we can say the price corresponding with that happens to be somewhere here again we can see that even though 69.1 does not change but the price is higher Let's do it one more time on this daily chart we can see again we had moved above 69.1 here which corresponds with this price level and then we drop back below 69.1 during this drop that corresponds with a price level somewhere there and again we can see here consistency in that the price is still higher in other words if you buy the entry at 69.1 and hold you can still have a chance to get out even with the movement back below 69.1 entry above 69.1 you hold until it moves back below it assuming you did you still have a higher price level so you get out with a profit again entry at 69.1 exit at 69.1 if you did that you still have a higher exit level so what i'm trying to get at here is we can see that over the last couple of days ethereum dropped below 30.9 which is the exact opposite of 69.1 so this uh, exact opposite above 69.1 is assumed to be bullish below 30.9 is assumed to be very bearish so as you move below 30.9 if you understand this it means that by the time it moves out of the 30.9 level prices are still gonna be lower so what i'm saying here is Another way of saying this is as long as Ethereum is trading below 30.9 on its daily RSI, you can expect prices to be sideways to down. Sideways at best, bearish at worst. So whenever you see an instrument trading below 30.9, it means that you should not be looking to enter the instrument until it recovers at the very least back above 30.9 
also it also means that as long as you are bearish and have a bearish position you can continue holding on to the instrument until it comes off the 30.9 level because even when it comes off 30.9 you're gonna be coming off net net with a profit so another way of saying this is right now you can remain bearish on the cryptocurrencies as long as ethereum daily continues to hold below rsi level of 30.9 eric mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e a c s yes Mwah.